Hi everyone, uh, this is an additional video to the lab 8.1 okay uh, so the purpose of this video is to explain this particular part okay which can be very intimidating for uh, students who are new to doing JavaScript all right so uh, so what I done here is uh, I made use of the breakpoint okay so you can type in this command called debugger and what it does is that it will uh, basically when the browser is uh, processing the JavaScript it is going to pause here and it's going to show you uh, all the variables that are in play and I've also put in another uh, debugger here because over here is the iteration okay so here is going to iterate through uh, the numbers of items in this array all right so by putting it here uh, we can then inspect okay after every iteration what happened to the variable all right so let me refresh okay so right away I encounter uh, okay you can go to the source Okay, this is the console panel, right? So you can see the console here, the source. And oh, okay. So maybe I'll just do one more thing here that is to uh, output. Okay, so let's take away this one and let's just console console.log. Okay, this array. All right. Okay, so we can see the 50 items okay right and now right the so-called uh, the program will stop here okay so we can step through okay by clicking on this button here right but at this point uh, let's take a look at the variable okay so basically uh, we know that we have a div here okay we have a div here and this div the ID is called movies table okay so it's actually this particular uh, so-called uh, element here okay uh, we have a couple of array so movie count is zero is correct okay because we stop okay a few lines down okay message is empty all right uh, count is undefined yeah because we haven't it, it haven't come to this part yet okay and cell is undefined right so cell is also here uh, because we haven't reached this part yet okay so I'm going to just step through so when I step through it's going to stop here okay and this is after the first iteration right after the first iteration so we are looking at this particular record okay the first record and this record here is going to go through right because uh, the availability is called is now showing okay so it is going to go through uh, you can see the category here is now showing so this variable is actually uh, this variable here okay this variable okay in fact you can see here okay so what I want to draw your attention to is this cell here right so you can see after the after what we did the concatenation right you can see that we have cell now the value of cell is we have a div right we have a div here uh, and okay just just ignore this forward slash okay uh, this is uh, because uh, because it is to escape this character okay so just just treat it as as though it is not there okay then next Okay, so, so this is a bootstrap class. Uh, this is also a bootstrap class, it's for some styling. Okay, I draw attention to here, right? So you can see here, uh, right? You can see over here, image class, okay. Okay, you can see over here, okay, image class, okay. I concatenate with thumbnail, right? Thumbnail. So thumbnail, uh, what is the value of thumbnail so if you take a look here the value of thumbnail is over here right it's over here so this uh, on the fly concatenation right okay it's going to uh, so-called uh, string uh, so-called concatenate with string right 
Okay, so you can see uh, when I mouse over, you can see this entire uh, string here, right? You can see this entire string here. Okay, over here, and then yeah, so cell has this very long string value. Okay, then uh, okay, it's very long, right? Okay, including the the font awesome, right? Okay, so it's very long. Okay, next, right? We uh, we actually uh, so called append to this div. Okay, yeah, so you can see here we have appended to this div. All right, so we can see the uh, the title coming out. Okay, okay. Although you see the image here and you can see the the font awesome icon okay but uh, all those will not be rendered okay all those will not be rendered by the browser okay so browser has some kind of order when they are rendering things okay so just imagine they are there all right so just imagine they are there so uh, if you move now right so over here this is the this is uh, this area here okay this d okay the name is called movies table right if I scroll down you can see that uh, the okay the attribute called inner HTML right so let me find inner yeah over here right so you can see now the inner HTML okay because of this command here uh, the long string has been so called uh, added to the inner HTML and hence you see this box here all right okay then we are now at here so when I'm when I resume it is going to uh, iterate to the second item okay the second item is uh, the movie call okay the title of the movie is called uh, where's the title yeah okay Disney Pixar all right and the ability is also now showing so it is going to okay go through all right so let's let's step through right so now it went through it went through the if all right it went through the if and it stopped here now okay so you can see the set you can see the same thing repeating again all right so if i show you the inner.html right inner.html so now it's even longer right because uh because this command is going to append okay to add on right so movie count previously was zero after the first iteration it was one so not currently now it is two all right okay so as i step through okay the 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 thing just keep on repeating and repeating and repeating okay and for those uh items okay the availability is coming soon okay basically they are going to skip this entire if all right all right so i hope uh this brings more clarity okay to how all this con concatenation works so do bear in mind that uh, in programming there are always uh, different approaches to solve the same problem okay so this is just one of the many ways uh, we are trying to uh, so-called iterate through the array and putting the information on the web page all right so thank you for tuning in